Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking up some things. Um, I don't trust that. I'd rather trust a fandom wiki. Sorry. <laughs> Not good for it. Uh, founded in 2176. Okay, Cyberpunk. Get out of my face. Thank you. It was founded in 2176. What year did... Mass Effect 1 take place. 2183. Okay, so they must have known. Okay, so I'm not going to completely trust the date. So I'm assuming that in 2183-ish, Mish, somewhere between there, is when the initiative was founded. Yeah. Like, and then in well, 21... Definitely would have taken a lot of time to... Yeah. So maybe they did actually find it in... Yeah, so we do... Oh, wait. 600 years. Ah. Yeah, so it's a 600-year give or okay, take. Okay, so we've been operating under the wrong assumption there on how long it took. No. Still... Tally should still be alive. Oh yeah, Tally should definitely be still alive. So the yeah. so in twenty one eighty five. So yeah, so they had to leave between. Like they were founded probably in two. Mish and then left between two and three. Oh, they would have had to have been founded before two. Yeah, 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 that's what that's what I'm so probably during one founded, if not beforehand, then they were probably founded straight after one, maybe? I don't know. That's what I would assume. Uh boom. Twenty one eighty six. According to this, it launched in twenty one eighty five a year before, so that was during Mass Effect. Dude. But why okay, so why is Tally that's very interesting. Why oh, is Liari? Tally well, finding... Liara, sorry. Why is Liara, Liara... Why do I always get those two confused? Why is know. Liara... I got you, though. <laughs> ...finding, like, a piece of a of a N7 helmet? But, to be honest, seems like it might be Shepard's. Thousands of years. What's that? The Saris, uh have a robust cellular regenerative system. While they do not heal faster than other species, they are known to reach over a thousand years of age. This long yeah. lifespan is rivaled only by the Krogan. Yeah, that's right. I thought the Krogan lived a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, let's let's take a look at that. Because um let's go back to the planet. Let's get a planet look at this. All right, let's go to there. Okay. And then I'm going to bring up Mass Effect 2. Finding uh... Somebody crash assignment. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. To upgrade heavy weapons. No, oh, that's not all that. Okay, so... Uh, if we take a look kind of at... Let's step away for a second. I'll be right back. You're good. I'm going to prep this for your return. Okay. Ah. But everyone else. The one thing I... It's a little, 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 tiny, tiny pet peeve of mine is the Mass Effect 2 loading screens. I love them. They're amazing. But when you're trying to find certain things, bit of a bitch to have those kind of loading screens. Give me planet loading screens or something outside of the repeat of the, the graphic displays. They tell me nothing. Let's 
Final. Get Boom. That's what I wanted. Um, but Ocean, you're more than welcome to if you're back. Um the join in the discussion. I will quickly get your energy. My apologies for that, I am back. Yeah, welcome back, no worries. So, <sighs> oh, I don't know why I went full screen. Okay, so this is uh, from Mass Effect 2, what I've got up on stream. Mm -hmm. uh, Normandy crash site? That's the Normandy crash site assignment, if you remember. Yeah. So what okay. I'm thinking is, is that maybe, if if we run with the theory of it being a prequel, this would make sense of why VR is finding a piece oh, of, Matt, of Shepard's helmet. Because if I go to that point, that was God the planet damn. of which the collectors came from behind. I, I was wondering how to <laughs> nip that joke. From behind. <laughs> and Shit, well done. Fuck up the Normandy. That's the only way that this could be a prequel. If this is where Liara finds Shepard, and this is the right. story of how Shepard came back to life via the Lazarus Project, to be a short game. So I'm assuming that there has to be something more, like how she's able to find the intel, mm. this, that, and another. That's interesting. But Liara had no idea that Shepard had been brought back. Right? No. No, because uh, fuck, I can't remember. Um, I remember the dialogue. Look up Mass Effect Two dialogue with Liara. Yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll keep that moment. Though I mean, that could still be. I think it was either Mass Effect Two or Mass Effect Three that was brought up, but I know exactly what you're going for. Mass. Yeah. To Liara. Oops. Hey, I'm uh, Flux. To make another I am Flux, or is that nah, just that's really just an interview. It's from like 11 <laughs> years ago. Right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I like the original cartoon of Aeon Flux. That shit was crazy. I never seen it. It was good. It was a weird uh, show. Really weird show. Uh, Romance. <laughs> Uh, oh. Shadow Barker comments? Nah. Dialogue. Oh, here the Shadow Broker trying to choose both Lear and Ashley. Uh, uh, Project. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll go through it. it We've been a lot to go through anyway. Um, but I'm pretty sure, like, they are pretty much Mass Effect 2. She's got no clue, like, about. Um, yeah, you know, once she gets oh, Shadow Broker, you know, upgrades know. to Shadow Broker. Uh, I know. Actually, no. I, 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 I know. I think I do. I think I do. Um, they are uh, Mass Effect 2. We are. Uh, Pretty sure that's in Tommy Hill Shepherd to play your means. Oh yeah, right. I think it's Well, it's all about the romances. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Um but doesn't Liara have a smile on her face in the in the trailer? She does. 
He does. And I, I, I remember... God, I remember her talking about it. I just can't remember when. But, like, she, she's she's the one that she's handed... She's finding Shed, Shepard's body. I don't yeah. think she's going to be happy about it. <laughs> she Well, she, found, she finds Shepard's body, and she hands it over to Cerberus. And somehow oh. the Shadow Broker got involved, and that's why we had... That's the reason why her friend's captured and hooked up to that fucking Wait, what? piece of shit chair. Sh yeah. Sh what? Yeah. Liara hold... hands over Shepard's body to Cerberus. Yeah, hold on. Um, I, I just really? can't remember where she talks about it. Liara, um... Shepard's... I must, must say, though, ever since Bungie broke <laughs> off from Microsoft, they have done very well. Well, duh. <laughs> I mean, um, no. With, with Activision, they had a hell of a time. They oh, well, Activision is um, Activision. Uh, did, you, did you mean to say Activision Epic? Probably. It is only like nine. I had a nine. pretty rough time with Activision. <laughs> um, but the first signing we are to Sony. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It was Activision, right? Am I wrong there? Uh, it might have been. I do not remember. Um, get out of my face! You know what we should do as well? Yeah. Because if we watch the first, uh, the the first, uh, or the just Shepard dying in Mass Effect, um, the opening scene in Mass Effect Two. Two, the opening scene in Mass Effect Two. Is it the same color helmet? I would assume so. Okay, so hold up. Let's let's fast forward to this. Okay, so it's got so it's the generic N7 helmet that you start off with. Uh, Mass Effect Two. What is it? It's all gray, is it? Egg, dark gray, blackish. Yeah. Uh, opening scene. Turn that bad boy up. And I'm gonna grab this. And we just need to say like yep. what what ship it's wearing. Yeah. I'll blow it up. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? We are Yodel. We're trying to figure out. Hey Yodel. You know, how you doing? Shepard did everything. We are. We're we're More we're figuring out our th we're figuring out theories. Saving the God, Citadel, is this the yeah. <laughs> this is not the greatest vid. Stand by. Place in the galaxy is stronger than ever. Still, it's this... so that Sorry, is the long... oh here, here we go here we go no 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 that's that's before oh, that's it that's a helmet okay yeah it's right there in the picture okay that's so good. let me let me fast forward it you're probably right you idol you're probably right <laughs> and see has actually come on to a very good theory Okay, show me, show me, show me. No. Show me the money. Oh, show me. It's red. Well, it remember, it, it's the... Seven a weather? It's on the side of his helmet, so it's going to have to be, like, a good side uh, shot of the helmet. Oh, wait, yeah. I, I know where. I know where, I know where. I don't know, it says it's seven on the vest. It does. Come on. It's, it's right after this. There's a good, nice side headshot of him. All right. Um. Come on, spin, spin, spin. That. Bollocks. Right, because you got hit. Okay. Wow. All right. There. Right wow. there. That's. Yeah. That's it, it would be a, right, a right bit. around here. So it would have been the Which other side, side of it. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Give us a look at the helmet from now. From the um. From from the can you do like um just drag that to you know do each yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 okay so that. like the big circular thing maybe it's not from the helmet maybe we're jumping yep. to conclusions saying it's helmet pace maybe no I don't want you doing on that side I want you to do on this side thank you <laughs> that's smart that that just took a minute because it would have yeah. to be right along in here. Um, yeah. oh. It does have a circular situation kind of right happening. there, yeah. And then if we take a, a look though. at Mass Effect Two, um, that's 
Mm, I'm really convinced. Armor. Oh, well, here, hold um, up. Let me, let me back that up, and then I will duplicate that. The guy. taser is set in the future after Mass Effect 3. Is, um, that what, is that what's being said? So that's been confirmed. Uh, I'm going to go to bed, though, Cab. Got to be up in three hours. Hey, I mean, yeah, you should have gone to Andromeda. bed ages ago. Thank you for sticking around for so long. <laughs> I've got Will. It's okay. I've got Will and Epic. You, you sleep miss. Sleep well, Ellie. Go get some goddamn sleep, all right? Sleep well. Talk to you later. Yes. I, a great... Yes, Yodel. We, yeah, we have we discussed did. that. The broken yeah. aspect relays do definitely um, imply that. Um, the interesting thing is, it looks like this could be possible. Uh, the, this, this scene of Liara is basically from the normandy crash site that's what um the normandy I'm, one crash site that's what i'm thinking um let me and does to, oh, sort wait, of wait. make sense if you look at the normandy crash site yep. yeah uh boom shepley our kid heck yeah heck yeah good i mean that's also another possibility that we're looking at is maybe a shepherd liara kid or something i like yeah yeah the only thing we can do right now is speculate what we got going on here good, yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's just what what is this what is this Two, i mean and uh, seven i'm just doing a ban helmet Oops. oh hello that's five now oh wow big uh, butt. boom big butt. boom boom oh you, you beat me to it i'll yeah. beat you to it yeah. it's all good it's all good mike you, it's all good kick my ass <laughs> why, are the, why are these people never come into my channel these bots Honestly, because they know gotta... i'm there and i want to kick ass <laughs> <laughs> i okay. still have like no ban for my channel oh that's not a good side um, profile oh why i really hope that in the next game you can play you don't you're not actually limited to playing a shepherd and that you can Right. And that you can play as a um, give us give us some Dragon Age as, as, capability. Yeah, let let me let me choose let me play as a Krogan. Let me play as whatever. Um, I won't be able to choose my race. Um. Uh, oh. oh. Okay, that's good. That's um, good. I'm look. I'm trying to find a wow. better. Better, 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 better. Well, I mean, the thing is also, it's got to be the armor that was worn in that first scene. You know, it had to um, be. Um, if it, if it, if if this is the Normandy One crash site, and, yeah, I mean, there's no reason the Liara can't be going back to the Normandy One crash site. You know, post Mass Effect Three. Oh, um, here we go. Like we know it's still there and everything. Yeah. Oh, why, why do you, why do you hate me so? Just give me the damn image. <laughs> right there okay but on the other side um, of his head oh okay it doesn't really work no but i mean it could support the theory to so see the n7 should be the other way around yeah so that's saying. that's what i'm saying oh, wait is it's, it the same is it the same on the other side because that would work it, it would have seven i would sides. i would assume so because yeah, if it says n7 on both sides that would want, absolutely is what that is that branding on both sides of the head yeah 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 no i think you're right okay so, so this really could be the normandy crash normandy one crash site could be because not only is the helmet... It's, it's the only thing that makes any sense, right? to be honest. And look yeah. at the landscape. I mean, yeah, if yeah, we yeah. go to here... I mean, not not move not um just move greatest. my camera move move the uh, the picture and picture stuff you got just so people can see the left hand. Yeah, uh, let me window yeah. properly. Uh, uh, nope. Well, this. Do this. Stand by. <coughs> oh, that's fine. <coughs> As I'm dying. <laughs> All right. Uh, get rid of the lights. Then we're gonna go. We. Oh, whoops. That's not the right we. The that we. We. Oh. You go away. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a while, here. It'll. I'd say more than a couple of years. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I could fix this before next stream. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah. 
if I can, oh, yeah. if I if I back it up, yeah, to where is it at? Where is it at? I mean, it's not. We're talking be... about this before Yodel. That really, Bioware's got right. so much going on with Anthem 2.0 and um, a 1.2, whatever you get, they're gonna call it, um, and uh, Dragon Age 4. No, I can't get like <laughs> a couple of years after Dragon Age 4. That sounds more accurate, right? Yeah. I mean, you can't really tell, like, notice it based off of this, these little yeah. spots, but it almost looks like. Okay. I mean, yeah. If, if we are to run with the theory that this is a prequel, there is some evidence. I don't think to prove it's it. going to be a prequel. I don't think but, so well, either. Yeah. I'm thinking it is a sequel. I think it kind of has to be with the destroyed relays and Andromeda and everything. Unless, I don't know, like, maybe this is just, like, Liara's story. Maybe we go through points in her life. Like, we don't know. This could be Liara visiting, you know, the, the wreck of the Normandy at some point. Um, it could yeah. be. And Yodel, we feel that. We feel that all the way. <laughs> right, Yodel. <laughs> um, I was actually trying to peruse something in the wiki that I had pulled up. Uh, don't care about redemption. Get that on my face. Don't care about Paragon Lost. Thank you. Mm. Uh, sponsors. Liar is unable to talk to Commander. Freely. Oh, 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 oh. God, I love the view at my new place. This I bet it looks nice. It's so good. <laughs> uh, still digging. I mean, the our story set between the crash and her becoming the shadow broker could mm -hmm. be a possibility. It could Would be. take it. I prefer a sequel. I hear you, Yodel. That could be interesting. I mean, it could be very interesting. Would be interesting as well playing as Liara and like doing the whole shadow broker thing. If uh, the Liara romance was canon from the first. <laughs> <laughs> from the first game. I think the Liara relationship is really kind of the canon relationship, right? Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that could be interesting, especially if you know that Shepard's out there, you know, having it off with uh, or Tally or something. <laughs> ah, I can't find it, but I do remember it being a theme. Uh, Liara's story is very good. It is. I haven't even played the first one. I know there's some great stuff in there. But I think with the Mass Effect 2, during the Shadow Broker DLC, is when she tells Shepard how that whole situation with her, her partner, and Shepard's body got all entangled and messed up, and Cerberus got involved in shit. Really? I, this, I, gotta I, be, this gotta be written down somewhere. I just looked through the wiki and I couldn't find it. Um, oh well. But that doesn't mean anything. I know. I know it's there. I know it's out there. I just. I can't remember where. I know it's. Yeah. It has to be Mass Effect Two. It can't be Mass Effect Three. Maybe Mass Effect Three. Oh, there might be some stuff in Mass Effect Three about that. Yeah. I guess we're gonna play it again. Guess we're going to have to, Yodel. Let's play it all again tonight. I mean, <laughs> I would love to, except I've got work tomorrow. Or, well, later today, because yeah, it's 321 in the morning, as y'all can see down oh, God. in the uh, corner. You should go to bed. i got to get back to my place. But I'll be fine. I'll be fine. No worries. I don't go to sleep till 7 anyways. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, but, oh, God, how long have you been streaming for now? Like nearly 11 hours? Jeez. About 15 minutes shy of that. Louise. 
Jeez, Lou heckin' ways. Tonight, but I have Cyberpunk to play. Oh, oh heck. Oh, God. Well, Yodel oh, God. did play a whole play punch. Did play a whole bunch of Mass Effect with Nana, Kako, and uh, Trello. <laughs> so. I really want to play some Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. God I, damn. I need to practice with the controls. I mean, I'm good, but I need to practice. Like, it's just Mass plus. Effect controls. Yeah, but the difference between Mass Effect controls on PC and Mass Effect controls on Xbox. And I am oh. Xbox. So I uh, have to so wait, convert Yodel's over. been playing that game without me? I'm very, yes. I'm very upset. Yodel. Yodel has cheated very on you upset. with Trillo, Nana, and Kaka. No, I know you guys play that like 5 a.m. my time, so it's probably not ideal. <laughs> to say the word will top, I'm usually down for a couple of rounds. Well, we should probably play some right now. I mean, it is installed on this machine. Whether or not it is updated, that is a different story. Ah, actually, it is updated. updated. Make sure if you got all the DLCs. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me verify. Uh, view. Nice. You gotta make sure you get all that mul that juicy, juicy multiplayer DLC. Digital books, extended cut from the ashes soundtrack, in seven collector edition materials, and digital edition key. So yeah. All right. Could be all nice. Up. All right. So we should probably wrap up the the you know the teaser yeah. discussion. Was there anything else we wanted to add? I don't. <laughs> that that yeah. That's it's just. Hey, uh, like the reason why I thought this was the Citadel again was the arms. But yeah, no, that's definitely that, a relay. That ring right there. Mm. I I thought that was like the one piece that. Stuck out and then shot up and then that was the <laughs> council tower. Nah, it's it's a destroyed relay, so yeah. it would make sense that it's one of the relays. You know, when all the relays get destroyed at the uh, the end of three, that 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 does make sense. Though yes. actually, in the extended cut, they show like people they show that the relays get repaired, don't they? Um, the extended cut ending, they show the the relays being repaired and stuff. Not in the destroyed ending. Really? Yep, only in it's the control and combine. I know for a fact really? control. But combined maybe. Um let me let Interesting. Uh Mass Effect. That, that really then really lends to like seeing that does lend to the destroy it option being canon. It does. So yeah. this is all of them. Me. Okay, so that's no. I'm gonna end this war on my terms. Basically, walking away slash shooting star kid. Is this ending? Shepherd. Wait, is that the actual official shepherd? No, it's gotta be someone's weird creation, right? Yeah, it's a weird creation. It's a bit like normal male ship, but not quite. Walks away. Better shoot Starkid either way. So yeah. Which one? So this one's the shoot Starkid slash walk away one. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. What are you talking about? I mean, <laughs> I clearly remember this scene popping up on your stream. <laughs> I think there's even a clip of it. It was such, such a scuffed playthrough. No, the the playthrough was really good until we got to the end, and then, and then you got drama caught. After drama after drama. Yeah. 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 Because I didn't have all the right. I had one wrong choice that I made in. Which Mass is Effect weird. Two. That, that is, is so, so weird. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever ran into that issue in my Xbox playthroughs. Yeah. Okay, so this is the destroy. Fast forward. I made one choice in Mass Effect to... 2 that wasn't Paragon when dealing with Elusive Man. Yeah. It cucked me. That, that was, was so stupid. weird. Mm. Like, I felt that in my soul for you. I'm like, the fuck, dude? Come on, game. Yeah. Okay. That was rough. Fast forward. Okay, so this is them explode, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the destroy. Because all of them explode, no matter what ending you pick, they all oh, yeah. go kaboom. 
Didn't realize there was that much of a difference between the, the end cutscenes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I guess without that technology, the Reaper technology, you can't repair the rings. It can't, the, yeah, the gates. It makes sense. Maybe. It, it makes sense. The war mm. is over. The Reapers have and been combine and control, you do have access to like, that Reaper tech. Control mm -hmm. over the Reapers. Of the I don't know. I think combine. But, but yeah, oh, sorry, control. Oh, yeah. The Reapers have been defeated. Okay. Like they're going right past a relay. Mm. The, I guess it gone the long way. Mm -hmm. So that's mm. the destroy, and there's no evident sign of it being repaired because we've already seen this ending. Clearly, different relays in these photos, but yeah, but I mean, mm. made out the model. But yeah, if it's still destroyed, then that definitely means uh, cannon. Yeah, it means you know destroy must be the cannon ending. Unless this is a broken relay for some other reason. There's Maybe. a destroyed relay out there. Um, I don't know. Did they destroy? End up destroying the relay that went to the um, collector. That's an interesting question. Yeah, the Omega Four relay. The Omega Four relay. That's the one. That's a damn interesting question, because they didn't show the Omega Four relay was being touched. Because that Omega Four relay had a very distinct, different color at the center of it. Well, that's true. Yeah, it was like orange or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So maybe, maybe oh, there right. is a relay. Wait. So yeah, I mean. So if it, unless it's just some random destroyed relay or something, but maybe. otherwise, uh, this this does suggest to me that the the cannon ending is, is uh, destroyed. Is destroyed. Yeah. So here's the control. Does this part? Does this fits the same? Only difference is, is the reapers take off and they don't just crumble to the ground. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's also different. I forgot about that part. And oh, yeah. there. And combine all the husks. I guess all the husks just come under control as well, eh? Hey? Yeah, because up. they're 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 basically reapers. They're just not the big bad Did fucking. They get their like humanity back. I mean, that's a. I don't think in the control question. ending they do. I don't think they don't it in is, the control it's engine. just machines. Okay. Yeah. I guess anything that was human about them has been stripped away. Mm -hmm. That or just suppress into an unconscious state. Now, I forgot this scene here where the Citadel closes up. It doesn't get damaged or anything. It just goes shook. Shook? After it shoots off the beam. Right. Which one? So that's destroy, right? No, this is, is control, control now. Control, yeah. Sorry. So control. Did I even blow up with control? Mm -hmm. Right there. The ring breaks apart there. Ah, uh, sorry, I got a bit of a delay. Oh, barely. <laughs> yeah, well, the rings break apart. I mean, yeah, it's not as damaged as. Oh wow! Can oh, we, we look see. at this to see where where's the mega on this map? <laughs> right, fog, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be interesting because. No, that's actually is an interesting point. Because uh, even though it you see, show every guy doing it. no, 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 no. But that is a point. Let me let me rewind. Yeah, maybe. I'll pause it right as. I'll try to pause it right, like the frame before. It only shows like a quarter of the galaxy. Yeah. You know, it only shows him going across a quarter of the galaxy. But yeah, I don't know. But, was the Omega Relay even destroyed? I don't think the Omega Relay was I don't destroyed. think so. Because yeah. if memory serve, it was kind of over here. Let's see if it bounced it. Because if it did, then where else would that beam go? Because then you would yeah. see not just two, but three. Mm. If you notice in some of these, they there's two that bounce out. Oh, I'm just looking at an image of uh, the Mass Effect map. Please do. I'll try to locate it. Um, uh, this is too, too low res. Garbo. 
Um, looks like a good map. It's just too low right now. This one might be better. Get this look at it. This from two different angles. Um, God, this place is big. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Where the <laughs> hell is Vega? Oh, please say that it's there on Ooh. there. Yeah. Homeworld, Citadel Horizon. Because there's Omega Station, right? Yeah, you have Omega Station, then you have the Omega uh, Relay. And there's two different relays the there. System, aren't they? Yeah, they would be. Um, uh, it's all Krogan. Well, it's it's uh, Atticon Traverse or something? No, Terminus Systems? I think it was a Terminus. Um, let me. Da, 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 da. Oh, Omega. Yeah, it is term terminus. Yeah. Um, does this show? Hold on. Okay, so there's the Omega Nebula. It doesn't show. Uh... What's the Omega Four relay even shoot off to? It What's shoots that? off to the core. It does shoot off to the galactic core. You're right. Okay. So Omega, the uh, that that thing is yeah. not gonna show us. No, um, Earth's in the uh, Earth Alliance space. It's the other side of the galaxy, basically. Yeah, um, it didn't show. It didn't Earth shoot up that far. To, no, we certainly don't see anything shoot to the center of the galaxy. Um, no. So. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. Maybe. Maybe, but we don't know. Speculations. Fast forward. Speculation, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure what we can tell here is that it does look like that's probably the Normandy crash site. That so definitely like, looks like a Normandy sense. crash site. Yeah. That... Yeah. And that um, we're probably looking at a um, at a destroy being the cannon ending, which kind of makes sense. Yeah. I think it's the only sure. ending that really makes sense. It would have been interesting to explore the world post the that, but I don't know, man. I think a lot of people didn't like the combined ending, and um, no, yeah, and I think um, control did seem to Reaper like. Yeah, control seemed like you know the Reapers kind of won a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, in here, uh, speaking of control, it, this is yeah. the scene coming up on stream. I did pause it so that would. Oh yeah. Catch up with you. Watch him. Watch him. Through his death, I was created. Through my birth, his thoughts were free. But see they here with Shepard in control, he's telling the Reapers uh, to fix the safe fix them. Just yeah. as he gave directions to the ones who followed him. And then let me the ones who helped him. So this is the combined one. Disengage and head to the rendezvous. Just for sake of knowing colors. <laughs> green. Green. Which this is actually the ending that I prefer the most. Really? I hate yeah. it. Well the, my logic behind it is okay, both organic and synthetic or uh civilizations organism life forms can live. However, mm -hmm. with combining of the two, both still maintain their own free will, their own individualities but have the capability of going beyond okay. what they are. But, A, does Shepard know? Like, what guarantee does Shepard have that, that, that you know, they do maintain their own free will? And B, you're forcing this thing, this unknown, like, generally unknown thing on all life in the galaxy. They're me. You are, you are, without without anyone Express. getting a choice in it. Without a, you are inflicting this, whatever this thing is, so you don't even really know what it is, on every life form in the galaxy, without their consent or their knowledge before. Unimaginable. That is true. Yeah, that is unimaginable. True. How could you do that? But also, no. Yoro, I see that I see that laugh and emo, but that like is a point. Applause. No, um, I mean. There, that's why that's why the destroy ending I think is also so hard. Oh yeah, but probably the right choice because yes, it is basically genocide, uh, not just of the reapers, but also of um, you know of of the Geth, 
uh, Edie, you know. Um, so, th- I mean, that part of it really, of, of the Destroy ending really is, is horrible. It is. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. Uh, I don't know if, if we're ever going to get to see Joker, you know, Joker's reaction to Shepard doing that. I'd don't be know. interested to say. It would be interesting. But another okay. thing to point out that with the combined ending, if, like, let me, let me, let me back this up. Just a little bit. So, we're used to seeing this Hus, this fucking drop yeah, this guy. That's Yodel. That's why the destroy ending's so hard to do. Sorry, keep going. Uh, n- no, I'm, I'm reading what Yodel would put. That is true. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, just, yeah, so yeah, hey, I worked hard on Edie getting more yeah. human during three. I don't want her to die in the destroy ending, and control is out for me. I get right. it. I mean, they're all, they're all hard choices, but still, I still think the lesser evil here is, I mean, well, see, control, I guess with control, there's theories of, you know, was Shepard indoctrinated, indoctrinated the yeah. whole time. Because you know she's got so much Reaper tech in her from from Cerberus. Can 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 you know? Um, well, it's not it's not the can, can the Reaper tech. Yeah. It's all the time that she's they be fair to whoever plays male and female ship. Yeah, um, sorry, yeah. They spent so much time around all this Reaper technology from the get go in Mass Effect One, all oh, the way it's through. Definitely Reaper. But uh, part of the Lazarus, um, the, the Lazarus. Uh, project Did they use Reaper? Step it back. Yeah, there's go. Yeah, surely. I didn't think they did. <laughs> I thought that was all uh, human. That was my understanding. Well, I what, don't know. What? Let's see. But yeah, I mean, and yeah, uh, but yes. Also, Shepard spent a lot of time around. But so, like, I do get that, but I still kind of think. I don't know. I think. I think destroy is the most authentic, probably Shepard decision. I think Shepard's been fighting. No matter how you play Shepard, true. Shepard's been fighting to defeat the Reapers. It's always been to destroy the Reapers. Yeah. That, that's always been the mission. So that yeah, has I see always that. Always been the mission. Um, and as mm-hmm. much as, but okay, fine. As much as control from a meta, a kind of meta perspective is like yeah but from a character perspective shepherd even if shepherd is potentially indoctrinated shepherd doesn't think that shepherd's indoctrinated so shepherd so would still, still think, do what shepherd it, would want yeah to do. i still think so i still think it's a very meta a very meta decision to say shepherd shouldn't control the rapers you know what i'm saying yeah i see what um, you're saying Character wise, I still think it there could be things around okay, you know, yes, no. But I still think Shepard's face so many moral quandaries and everything. I just don't I don't see inflicting this random threat thing from something that is obviously Reaper Tech saying, Hey, we should change every what the nature of everyone in the universe. Well, and everything. You know? <laughs> because it wasn't just the people. It wasn't just yeah. like sentient life. No, form. exactly. All sentient life all life. Everything. Fact, sentient life. You know, uh without their consent or not like knowledge. To me, I think that's I actually think that it's a it's uh an awful or an awful ending to choose. Um yeah, I, I think it, I think it 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 really is ju- just terrible. Um, you know, d- yeah, destroying the rapers and destroying eighty and the Geth and everything is it, uh, it's a tough and hard call. Yeah, I don't, look, I, it it might not be the most authentic ending because obviously everything's gray, and I think that um, Shepard would, uh, yeah, would. Well, I mean, this is the thing, Shepard would uh, obviously depending on how you played Shepard, you know, some, some people would be like, yeah, the Geth are, are people. You know, yeah. the, Shepard, you can play Shepard as being completely anti Edie and, you know, saying, you know, telling Edie... They basically to go fuck off. Be, yeah. Well, yeah, or just to not be, you know, don't try and initiate human relationships, stick to being a computer. Like, you, you can, you know, and if you're playing, you know, um, uh, a renegade ship you probably would say that's a, it's an ed and everything and yeah in that case go, going with destroy p- makes perfect sense for that and character. it would be less um, hardship on you as a player to make that decision um control means shep will turn 
sometime in the future when his slash her humanity is not even a fleeting memory anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't really know. You don't know how that. Yeah, I mean, whole thing Sh- works. Shepard, Shepard, yeah, exactly. Shepard's just you know basically been destroyed, and some part of her, is, uh, him or her, has been incorporated into you know, the, the Reapers. You yeah. don't know if that fleets with time. It's not human memory anymore. You know, you it's... don't even know if like if that, that might be the end of you know like Shepard's development as a person might just be locked in place at the moment of you know you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I mean, you really, you really don't know if it's, you know, it's like comparing what the nature of Shepard's consciousness is at that point. Yeah, so, it's like comparing a corporeal really life form to that. a non-corporeal life form. Like there, there's exactly, differences. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you don't have the the grade of a human neural network. You know, I think everything, everything kind of changes. So we don't, we don't know really. No. Um, but at the same time, um, with that, that the the problem with control, of course, is that um that uh shepherd has been saying to the elusive man again i think depending on how you play shepherd but generally saying to the elusive man you can't Destroy. control the rapers yeah you cannot control the rapers stop trying to control the rapers you know that that that's a has strength through all of mass effect 3 and so two. then choosing yeah and two yeah so then choosing to control the rapers does go against everything that Shepard has been saying. It's a hypocritical so I do move. understand. Yeah, well, exactly. It's like it is turning on a dime to choose control. This is why I think people really don't like the ending because honestly, you 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 worry there are bad things. Like the, none of the yeah, you know, there there isn't a perfect happy ending scenario. No, and personally, I get why people don't like that but i do kind of like that because it's like oh shit what do i do moral quandary this game is you know and this game is great at exploring morality of big decisions big decisions that affect you know hundreds of thousands of galaxies. trillions of yeah. billions yeah. and it's great because even if you can't contemplate the because you meet so many different people through all these stories and you explore so many different cultures and ways of thinking and everything. Uh, it's There's no other game that's done it better. Not that I know of, you know, that's really done all that choice and everything. Even if sometimes it's like an illusion of choice, it's still, you know, the fact that it gets you thinking about these. Um, yeah, just, you know, the, uh, very much the morality of yeah. different things, you know, who do you sacrifice? How can you sacrifice? You know, especially when you can't often get these, you know, perfect endings or whatever. And it's, it's just, um, and yeah, yeah. And I know that the game, the game obviously sells combine as being, you know, the, the good, the good option. Like it, it puts it right there in the center. It's obviously a game's telling you this is what you should do to win the game, I guess. Yeah. But to me, it's a horrible thing. It, it's a horrible, unthinkable solution. To it me. is. Yeah. And without any yeah. guarantees that this is, like, going to yeah, why, make why, everything, you know, like, better. It, yeah, exactly. The only thing he's well, got the, is the start kid's word. Is, the, the other thing is, the same argument for control, why you don't choose control, because, like, is Shepard being controlled by the Reapers, also, to me, applies to Combine. Yeah. Because think about it. Like, you've got, you know, it's just the Reapers saying, hey, do this thing, and we're going to change the nature of all humanity. Oh, sorry, not humanity, all life in the universe, <laughs> or the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, everything. Like, it's just like, well, if Shepard's, you know, under the you know control of the Reapers, well, then probably not a good idea to be changing the nature of all life everything, in the galaxy. Everything, yeah. yeah. Including like, the what, Reapers. What's the, yeah, what 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 do the Reapers want out of this? Like, uh, is everyone really going to have their free will after doing this? Like, yeah. you're making them all machines. It's yeah. I think the same arguments not to do control is the same argument not to do um, combine. combine. Yeah, which then leaves destroy, destroy as, as the only you know, available option. option. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the lesser of all evils, or at least the, the only one where it's just like the Reapers are dead. We probably don't need to worry anymore. <laughs> right. Um, backtracking yeah. real quick to Shepard and Lazarus project. Yeah. It's not really explained. So I could see the theory behind Shepard being implanted with some sort of reaper tech. 
because the only thing that is stated right. is that um, an exorbitant project took two years and over four billion credits to complete, undertaken by the Lazarus Cell, which was headed by Miranda and Wilson. Yes. Uh, it involved attaching cybernetic implants to reconstruct Shepard's skeleton, reconstruction of the skin and fluids to restart the blood flow and internal organs. Okay. But... So there, there could be an argument that Shepard was implanted with some sort of repro- some, some small portion of reaper technology, and the yeah. same argument can be made that he was, or they weren't. Mm. Yeah. So, All right, I think it refers to Shepard in any gen do you want, really. <laughs> pretty much. I agree. Yeah. But let me yeah. let me go back to the control yeah, thing I think, and watch I'm the I'm pretty huts. sure, especially when you say that, you know, like, pretty much, you know, in Mass Effect 3, you know, they're already implanting Reaper tech into um, all of their, their soldiers. Yeah. They've obviously been doing experiments with Reaper technology. For quite and, some time. We, yeah, because also don't we learn that Shepard, uh, sorry, that that Cerberus has had a dead Reaper under their control? Like, you know, so uh, they, they we found a dead Reaper or something. So what happened was is, and I'm going to piece this together with what I remember and know. That's in the, in the yeah in the, from Mass yeah, Effect Two. Dead Reaper from the Proto Dead, dead Reaper. Reaper in the Leviathan DLC. Um, remember. No, uh, so the the Reaper parts that are in the Cerberus base um, for the final mission in Mass Effect 3 no. comes from the final mission of Mass Effect 2 with the Proto Reaper. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did manage to get all that stuff. I forgot about that. The yeah. Proto Reaper. No, oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Isn't there a thing where there's a dead Reaper that Cerberus has? Maybe you're right. It is the Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah it, it's the Mass Effect Proto Reaper. Yeah, I must be getting that confused. In it, you do find a dead reaper in um in the Leviathan DLC, don't you? Because they're like, hey, something killed a reaper. We gotta find out what this is. He... Yes, that sounds right. Uh, oh, what's right? this Cerberus on that? I don't no, know I I think that was no, 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 no. I I think I remember what you're talking about. Um, hmm. it was the Alliance. It was one. I think it was the Alliance or one of the other Citadel Council species found mm. this destroyed Reaper, and I'm yeah. and I'm pegging more on the Alliance because it's pretty much an Alliance-led operation. Because Hack is the one that ordered it. It's pretty much all done oh, by yeah. human uh, humans. Um, right. Yeah. And they try mm. to pinpoint it, and uh, that's where you start the Leviathan mission. At the office, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. The Alliance okay. found well, yeah, the Reaper. Look, it's possible. But my understanding of why it was, you know, ethically dicey to control was the fact that Shepard herself, or their self, <laughs> might be, um, might be indoctrinated. Indoctrinated, yeah. Um, and that was primarily due to, you know, the the stuff that Cerberus had done done to Shepard. But maybe that's not it. Look, the fact that Shepard's just been around some. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, Fucking that's, that's pretty shaky to me. That if, like, if if the evidence for um for uh like we don't even know if Reaper Tech was used to revive Shepard. No. Then I don't even think that the you know, possible indoctrination of Shepard really that theory even really holds up. It's certainly not a theory that Bioware's ever really report like you know supported or no. reported or whatever. But there's so, people yeah. out there who have, because I remember this used to be like a big old fucking thing back when Mass Effect was yeah. like big, no, like Mass Effect 3 came out. Yeah, yeah you remember. The same thing. It was yeah. just all about this theories of indoctrinate, of Shepard being indoctrinated. It's like, yeah, but yeah. no. You know what? I think I don't think that's a good a, a good thing because basically, if Shepard's possibly indoctrinated, then any of the endings would be what the uh, what the Reapers want. And you know? yeah, and, and it would and be... it also re- removes all agency and choice from the player. I don't think Bioware intended would want it. that as to be a thing because that just makes no the sense. whole game fucking pointless. Yeah. You know? and I get the whole thing with the the, the visions of the Star Kid. 
and I guess that's why people kind of thought. Like, yeah, that that was Shepard the main supporting argument was the visions yeah. and Star Kid. Yeah, yeah, and I it's um, but yeah, and it's interesting. Like, it was it was the kid actually real? Was it something implanted by the Reapers? Maybe it's just one of those things we we are never supposed to know, or you know. And for all uh, we know, it, it could but, be post traumatic stress. Yeah. I mean, come on. Shepard's been through fucking yeah. hell and back. Has died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking well, has exactly, dealt right? with a Skillion Blitz. Fucking Sovereign. Fucking Saren. Yep. Fucking yep. all Cerberus' is bullshit. Su- yeah. Fucking Collectors. Yep. PTSD is a theme. Depending on how you play, has lost a lot of people close to her. Him, her, whatever. Yeah, I mean, fuck that woman, no, sorry, gal, yeah. on uh, the Citadel in Mass Effect Three. That's talking to that therapist. Oh God, that story. I mean, <laughs> PTSD is a Can real I have thing, a gun? <laughs> right? Yeah, dropping yeah, from no, orbit onto a planet. Uh, I yeah, mean, it's pretty crazy. It would not be impo- implausible to say that Shepard has PTSD. No, no, not at all, yeah. Wait, I want to play um, this as we're going to keep talking. And I want people to notice, like, how the this hus slowly gains consciousness. Like, it's aware of what the fuck is going on with the oh, combined. Maybe they do actually regain their humanity. All the husks are living in hell. I mean, it's a possibility that or they... Mm. Their, their subconsciousness is forced is brought back out via this oh yeah that, combining that, oh god imagine yeah the all of a sudden just being a husk yeah uh, and oh everything god. that you and have you, done you're, just you're circling every husk's life a living nightmare <laughs> dropping from orbit onto a planet that's this jesus <laughs> Yeah, right. All right. So fast forward through this bit because yeah, so unfortunately, yeah, Omega's on the other side of, of the galaxy. The galaxy, so we don't yeah, even know if Omega Four really know. still exists. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, we gotta assume that. Well, yeah, I guess I don't know. We don't know. I don't know what happened. To... I don't think it was ever destroyed. I don't we? think so. Because it was one of those special. The elusive, the elusive man had to have gone back through it. Had to. to get the um, the human reaper. But here's the question: well, Yeah, how did he? Because yeah. we had the IFF. Oh yeah, good point. Unless they were able to copy the exact coding of the IFF directly from. Well, actually, they probably don't need the IFF anymore if you destroy the reaper base. Maybe. So the, sorry, not the reaper base, the uh, collector base. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, wait, did you need the IFF to get through it? Or did mm-hmm. you need the IFF? You need the IFF to get through the Omega 4 relay. No, wait. I think, no, because people did travel through it. The thing is, no one ever came back. Yeah, because, because of the. It, you get destroyed on the other side. Because of all that debris and shit, because of the, specific, the very, very finite calculations that that IFF well, I th- made. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. Because it was part oh, of the main story combined, quest. Such a bad ending. Honestly, it's horrible. I don't know why anyone chooses it. <laughs> Look, I played. I chose on my first playthrough and then regretted it like immediately. I I'm. I mean, it's it's nice for 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 these two. Yeah. They're probably the only two people in the galaxy who are like, "Oh, this is nice. I can bone my ro- me and my robot girlfriend are now the same, in a way." Right. But even then, I mean, what, so what is the nature of Edie? Like, she's still a you know a computer on a ship with a robotic body. I mean, I I don't it's know. Weird. I mean, yeah. it could be possible that she inv- evolves from being just an AI platform on a sh- the Normandy. Well, I mean, something changes, but I don't know, man. it's all a bit weird. I am alive. Yeah, I've been changed against my will, with no say in it, like everyone else in the galaxy. Yeah. Now bring it ain't right. Just ain't right. I mean, this. My only question now is, is how? I don't remember exactly how, but why are? I mean, yeah, why are is a better question. The Reapers helping us—they're not being controlled. No. 
Exactly. But because now we're all this somehow like almost yeah, yeah, because that's kind of dumb when you think about it. It's like yo, humanity, right? We're all killing each other. We're all humans. We're all killing each other. So yeah. just because yo, we're all the same thing doesn't mean we all stop killing each other. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So why? Why? Yeah. But who knows? Because now sharing collective knowledge. It's almost kind of like a high well, mind state. Yeah. But not oh, a like high maybe. mind. Yeah. Oh, wow. Was that a. Wow. Yeah, that's. Was that a. Um, uh, uh, just go back there? Sorry, I never realized that. Just talk to that scene with the. Um, with this, Was that a quarry and without a mask talking to a guest? I think so. I never realized that. Never yeah. That Boom. So they do just. Look I forgot about human. that. Yeah, they do kind of look yeah, kind look of human. That. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Here, let me. Let me. Uh, Take away the filter. An unmasked quarrying. Oh, whoops, yeah. not that one. The other one. How have I never noticed that before? So they do just kind of look like people. Yeah. How boring. Just a little <laughs> bit different. Slightly blue people, but not blue like Asari's. No. I bet you there's different colors of them, too. You just got to get underneath their environmental suit. <laughs> <laughs> looks like they've just got like very white eyes i guess you do see like the the eyes glowing yeah at you, you know yeah right interesting very interesting well i guess it's good for the quarians so obviously whatever happens to them makes it so they don't need their, their suits well remember things. also that the geth if you were able to secure peace between the geth and the quarians that mm. the geth started to help the coins out by building up their immune system again by the geth actually implanting part of themselves into each corian's uh environmental suit to help oh, their yeah, immune yeah, system yeah 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 that's right i forgot about that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's pretty neat hey, i'm just gonna get another beverage i'll be back all right all right here how you doing yoda by the way i am so sorry We've been just talking about Mass Effect the entire time. And, yeah. I am so sorry, Yodel. Please forgive me. I am pro-streamer. How are you doing, Yodel? I'm assuming you're doing good, because we're, we're just on this tangent of Mass Effect stuff that I'm going to have to end here shortly, because it's almost... It's basically 4 o'clock in the morning. And I do need to get some sleep soon. And I do want to kind of unwind i do need to do a recording before but i will do that later. i'll probably yeah i'll figure <laughs> but yeah how are you doing yodel everybody else in chat I, i'm sorry that we've been going on a mass effect tangent but it's fine i'm good see you two having a great time speculating and discussing well, yeah, and I and I wanted to have it to where it was an open floor discussion. Like, anybody can bring it up, and I would try to insert what y'all are putting in the chat. So that way you all felt like you were part of the open discussion. Maybe we'll have, like, a full-blown, like, I don't know. I'll just talk to Will, because I would like to um involve more people and more thoughts into... Because there's a lot out there that we can nitpick at the teaser. Like, what does this mean? What could this mean? What does this mean? What is that? What are those? Like, I want to be able to have multiple minds pulling and back. picking, welcome back, um, this apart until we have, like, something else, something more than just a teaser. That's the reason why I kind of doing this with Will right now is because I wanted to make sure that there's more minds working on this, trying to figure out what could the next game be. And also oh, discussing yeah. other Whoa, things I about Mass Effect. Yeah. So, maybe, if you're up to it, Will, maybe another time we do this whole thing again. Maybe not on just oh, the teaser, sure. but, like, ripping something apart with everybody. Mm. Like, with more people. Like, more Mass Effect fans. Oh. Hey, I'm always, always, always down to talk Mass Effect. You I know, know you are. <laughs> Is this our podcast? I mean, <laughs> I've got... Uh, you, you've noticed on stream. You want to know how I'm doing? Have your logo on stream? 
<laughs> I see. I, I'm, I see. I'm literally for, for repping the brand. You're welcome. I'm literally just display capturing and cropped your cropped everything out except for your icon on Twitch. <laughs> so I get that I that 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 set of windows, or else it <laughs> botches the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate it i You're appreciate welcome. it <laughs> i figure since i've got my icons just standing there in the corner i might as well pop yours up <laughs> Ah, heck heck yeah we could edit this conversation down for youtube i'm sure oh fuck yeah i probably am yeah. going to have to download this and because my last vod had like some i was running a long ass christmas music copyright free video and one uh, part of it got muted, and I'm like, you've got to be... Of course, it's something well, from the sucks. Nut... It, it was a song from the Nutcracker, and it literally sounded exactly from the Nutcracker, so I was like, hmm, good enough. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, that's fair enough, I guess, but still. Yeah. Ah, uh, DMCA on Twitch. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, man, I'm so tired. That was such a big night last night. <laughs> y'all didn't this even bar invite has a, me. It's like a gamer bar. I know, right? How dare we? Yeah, I saw y'all talk about out. D20 yeah. shots. Oh my god, yeah. So it's like a gamer bar. Basically, so they've got this other bar. They got this big D20 dice, right? And uh, you, you roll the dice, and each number corresponds with a different shot. So there's all these different shots. And like, uh, <laughs> uh, you yeah, know, a, a nat one is, or a one is uh -huh. a. Um, uh is a spicy vodka shot Ooh. apparently it's like the the spice is like i don't know what that scale is for for spiciness but it's at like a million apparently it's really fucking hot Fuck. um, and I, I i said if i roll one i refuse to do that shot i just <laughs> literally cannot do that to my body um but uh yeah but yeah, that they also have like cement mixes and stuff. I think if you get two or whatever, that's like a, a shot of Bailey's. But you do the Bailey's with a shot of um, of literally lemon juice. Like they just squeeze a lemon into the shot glass, and what happens is the um, the Bailey's because it's like mostly milk. Yeah. Uh, it cur it instantly curdles. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's oh, fucked up. Oh, yeah. oh. no. <laughs> No. Uh, it's Koval, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is hot. Yeah, I know, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't want to roll a one. No. But yeah, yeah, that's like a two. It's yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we did we did D twenty shots and um, oh god, but we did quite a few. Fuck. It, it, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Good plays. Great, okay. great plays. So as yeah. soon as COVID is no longer a fucking issue, <laughs> and I have the ability and the funds and necessary to come to fucking Australia, oh, do it. I am going to hit you up and be like, yo, how's me for a week? <laughs> uh, that's right. You can stay with my parents. It's fine. Okay. I got no room. I got no room here for someone, but my, literally my parents' place, which is like a 20 minute walk away, like but yeah, five, uh, 10, five, 10 minute drive away. It's, it's really close. Right. Got like, uh, well, basically the old granny flat I used to live in, they got like Airbnb, that thing. So like I, you could, you could set it for free, of course. Yeah. But uh, yeah. And it's completely separate from like the house. You, oh, you know, dope. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be like you just having your own place, you know? Yeah. 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 You, you, you could 100% stay there for a week. No worries. Come. It's a good place. Oh, yeah. And then I could see Kula, Renee. Oh, yeah. Burrows, oh, no. You. Renee's up in Queensland. Oh, I mean, if you go, go up to Queensland as I well, mean, of course. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to be in Australia, I might as well go see oh, yeah, everybody yeah. that's down there. Fuck, do oh, a for quick sure, for sure. fucking like boat ride or fly over to New Zealand and be like, "What's up, man? <laughs> where's uh, where's Sneaky? Oh fuck, I don't fucking remember. I'll have to ask him the next time that I see his ass. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, I think it's really just. Oh, that, is last night that is true, Yodel. That is true, Yodel. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, you're fucked with a nat one on a d20. All right, right. 